Right in here is a refurbished MacBook Pro and today I want to delve into the unboxing and the overall experience with an Apple refurbished Mac. My MacBook Air that I use on a daily basis is actually a refurbished model and I had no issues. My brother also has a Mac Mini that I bought refurbished for him and that also had no issues. But I thought I'd document this and make a video because there may be some of you guys wondering, hey, should I buy these refurbished MacBooks? Are they actually good as new? Well, let's unbox this together and find out. But yes, I am pretty confident. Now, the MacBook I specifically got was the M2 Pro model because this recently came down in price since the M3 model just launched. And this is actually cheaper than a base M3 that, of course, has one fewer ports, has less RAM, has worse thermals. So yeah, this is actually worth considering in my opinion. And so let's see how the condition is. And by the way, would like to remind you guys, like this video and subscribe for more content like this. It would be appreciated. So this is the package it came in. And as you can see, there is a massive pull tab. So let's rip this open. So here we go. We are... Boom, there it is refurbished MacBook. So let me now take this out of the box and then we'll get into the official packaging. Right, here we have a MacBook Pro in a pretty dusty box. But anyways, as you can see, this does say Apple certified refurbished. This is basically the only difference packaging wise. There is no image of the actual MacBook. It just says MacBook Pro and then refurbished, but everything else should be the same. Right, so let's flip this over guys. Wow, it's quite heavy or am I just really weak? I don't know, but anyways, we have more pull tabs. So let's pull on these and get into the actual packaging. Ooh, that is very nice. What a satisfying sound. Boom, there we go. Right, so let's open this up, guys. Just slides off, a bit of a box fart there, but anyways. Here we have the MacBook Pro in silver. I am very glad I managed to get silver because with the MacBook Air I have, I only found that in Space Gray and I'm not a fan of Space Gray. I always prefer Silver Max. And thankfully I found this in silver. So I was very glad about that, but let's take this out of the actual box. Let's pull on this. That's got some heft to it, but it's not too heavy. I like it, I like it quite a lot. I've actually never used the 14 inch, so the MacBook itself will be new to me. It is ice cold, by the way, so I'm assuming it's been in storage for a while. But anyways, let's put this to the side. And if you're wondering, as you can see, you have the MagSafe cable inside and the usual Apple fluff. You know, the books, the sticker. Actually, I just remembered these MacBooks should have silver stickers, right? Wait, wait, where are the stickers? No way. Did they, did they skimp out on the stickers? I gen Am I being dumb? Wait, wait, let's go through this. Okay, so we've got the pamphlet, the usual stuff, more of that. Oh, there we go, it's here too. Ooh! I didn't know you get black stickers. Wow, that looks nice. That is very snazzy. Okay, enough of the packaging. Let's now get into the MacBook itself. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, this is a 67 watt adapter in the box, I believe. So it's plenty powerful for this machine and it is all brand new accessories. Right, so here we have it, the 14 inch. Let's take it out of this wrapper. That is a clean MacBook. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's time to examine the body and see if it is in like new condition. One eternity later. So I've been examining and well, everything so far looks pretty good to me. Obviously, as you can see, there's a ton of fingerprints because it is ice cold. Because obviously it's not an Intel model to keep itself warm during the cold season. Uh, but anyways, in terms of the actual condition, I am literally seeing nothing. It looks perfect. Very, very nice. Actually, I take that back. There is a slight ding, not really a ding, but it's a it's a mark around the top left feet. I'll put a close up shot in the video for you guys. But yeah, that's not a massive issue. I'm fine with that. Everything else looks basically brand new. So yeah, let's power this up now. So here we go, guys. Internals look pretty solid as well. No blemishes as far as I can tell. Let's take this off. Gotta be careful.
Ooh, that was very satisfying. Okay, here we go. We are in the 14 inch has been powered on. So as I said, I've actually never used the 14 inch. This is my first time interacting with this size and this newer generation of MacBook Pro in general. And I have to say guys, I love this black keyboard with the silver body. It looks so good. The notch I'm used to seeing on the MacBook Air, so that's not a massive issue. And the actual display itself looks great. This is actually my first ever mini LED display as well. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, as far as I can tell, there's no blemishes on the actual display. It all looks brand new. Let me set this up and then we can do some testing on this. Right, so everything has been set up. My first impressions with this machine so far is that it's fantastic. I love the keyboard. I love the trackpads. It is a very solid machine and I can see why many love the 14 inch. But one thing I do want to test on this is the battery cycle because fun fact, unlike the iPhone and the iPad, which get brand new batteries in every refurbished device, that's actually not the case with MacBooks. They have the same battery that was initially installed in the device because do you remember these are mostly returned items? So whoever used it before me, I'm hoping they haven't put a ton of cycles on this, but we'll see. So let's get into about this Mac. Um, system report, power, two. Okay, two cycles, that's, that's a non-issue. Okay, that's great, okay, two cycles. That's solid, I'm happy with that. And yeah, overall guys, this feels and looks like a brand new MacBook. I actually forgot this is 120 hertz, but yeah, I don't care about 120 hertz, so it's something that's nice to have, but I don't really care about it. But anyways, let's now test the display and speakers. So let's go to YouTube, keyboard feels incredible. This Mac is just so solid, like it's incredible. But anyways, let's go to a channel that I highly recommend, Saran Byte, great channel. I'm kidding, it's a bad channel. Uh, <laughs> but let's watch one of the latest videos and hear how I sound on the 14 inch. Okay, this, this might be copyrighted music, I just realized, so I'm gonna mute it. Uh, this is a problem, you know, I wanna test um, the speakers using music, but obviously copyright is a thing, so you'll have to put up with me. Oh, look, it's a MacBook Pro advert on a MacBook Pro. Wow. Anyways, okay. functioning because of Apple messing up my sleep schedule with their 12 a.m. event. Thank you for that, Tim, by the way. But let's talk about the star of the show at the recent event, which were the Mac... What? Those are so loud. How is it that loud? I'm, what? That actually... Okay, I wish I recorded my face in this video because I rarely get blown away by products, but... That was insane. The, the speakers on this are really good. Wow. They're way better than the MacBook Air. I always thought the MacBook Air had great speakers, but then now that I've listened to this, I've been spoiled. Wow, it is very, very good. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely understanding why many love the MacBook Pro. This 14 inch really is the perfect laptop for many. And I think that's why this MT Pro refurbished model is a great value because it gives you, you know, 16 gigs of RAM, which the M3 doesn't come with. Also, you get the additional port on the side. And by the way, very nice to see an SD card reader, HDMI, and some additional ports. That is something I'm very grateful for. And yeah, overall guys, I am happy with this refurbished experience. As was the case with the Mac Mini I bought and the Mac Becara I bought, this is basically in pristine condition. The battery has two cycles on it, that's not a massive issue. Obviously there is a bit of a blemish there, but I don't care. Like it is such a small thing that, honestly there is also a chance you get blemishes on brand new devices. And so if you're bothered by that, then go ahead and return your refurbished Mac, that's a non-issue. But for me guys, I can look past that, especially when there's savings involved. This is a lot cheaper than the M3 Pro MacBook. Anyways, that's about it for the refurbished Mac experience. I can highly recommend it. Definitely worth considering if you want to save some money on a brand new machine. And on that note, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And on that note, thank you for watching.